Hi, oh my god, Kyo Surigan. And we've another real love deck profile, and this time I'm showing my update a vampire deck. So this deck is one of my signature decks, uh, and now I also included uh, Zombie World support in this deck as well. So I guess let's go to this deck. So first the monsters. So first I run one vampire vamp. Uh, of course, a really good card. Uh, pretty powerful. Then I run one Vampire Red Baron, which essentially acts as a creature swap for the stack. Definitely pretty good and level 6 as well for rank 6 plays as well. Uh, then two Vampire Scarlet Scorch. Uh, pretty good. Um, revives a Vampire if you know how spells on it. And really good for rank 6 plays as well. Then one Shadow Vampire. As I said, it's almost a vampire on the front of the deck. Definitely pretty good. Then one vampire crimson. Pretty good as well. I decided to include it in now. Protects your other vampire or any monsters by, from battle or card effects by paying a thousand life points for each card um, yeah, being destroyed. So definitely pretty good and good for rank 5 plays as well. Then one of my favorite vampire cards. Vampire Flare Flan uh, decided to put it to one because it's uh, easily searchable, or you can just summon it from a deck with uh, Shadow Vampire. So, but still, of course, really powerful card, especially in, in combination with uh, Vampire's Domain. Then I run one Vampire Saucer uh, just because uh, so you can banish it and then you can uh, no more summon a vampire without tributing, and that's a pretty decent effect as well. The other effect. Then on, of course, a triple Vampire Retainer. Yeah, pretty obvious. I think you probably already know what this card does. And then, of course, triple uh, Vampire Familiar, another core card of this deck. So, yeah, very, very good. Then some other support, support cards. So I run one Tomb King uh, Baldrock. Definitely really good, good card in combination with Zombie World. Has really powerful effects and works uh, very well in this deck. Then I run one a Necro World, a Banshee. Essentially you can punish it from a field or graveyard and then you can, yeah, directly activate your Zombie World from, from the deck. But definitely really good. Then I run one a Claw Plume. Uh, essentially, uh, if this goes into the graveyard, you can punish it, and then if you have zombie word on the field, you can cause level, level 5 or higher zombie from the deck. Or add it to your hand if you don't have zombie word. So definitely really good as well. Then of course on the core zombie engine. A triple uni zombie, of course really good. So then if you hit anything, anything to the graveyard, like your uh, core vampire cards, or uh, Baldrock, or, or Banshee, stuff like that. And those is of course a tuner. Then I run triple Shirano Isolator of course to get uh, Union Zombie from the deck. Pretty good. And of course Tsumizuki. Uh, pretty obvious. So that was the monsters. Now let's see the spell cards. So of course triple Vampire's Desire. Essentially get your core Vampire cards to the graveyard like uh, Vampire's Red Retainer and uh, Vampire Familiar, definitely really good. As a, tif uh, a pretty good secondary effect as well, but you don't really use it much at all, to be honest. Then I run uh, two Vampire's Domain, uh, pretty good to, to get some extra normal summons, and really good second effect as well, to get more life points. Then of course, Triple Summon Word, uh, really good in this variant of the deck. Then two Terraforming, obviously the search of zombie world, of course, one for one, to get Vampire Familiar from the deck, or even Clover Plume if you want, and then one Foolish Burial, uh, pretty good as well of course, then the only traps I run are two uh, Vampire's Domination, of course, really good corner trap in this deck, that you can easily search with Vampire Retainer, you don't really need three because obviously you can only activate one per turn and it's again like I said easily searchable. 
And the last card in the main deck is Vampire Awakening. Pretty good summon uh, a Vampire from the deck. And then it's destroyed in the intent phase. So, yeah. Now, listen to the extra deck. So, first I run. One Tampar, Vampire Surgeon. Pretty good card to get rid of cards. So, and it sends, doesn't destroy, so uh, you can just uh, get. You can't get rid of anything with destruction immunity, but it does start, so there's that. Then I run one photon strike bouncer, just an extra disruption for this deck, pretty good. Then a uh, crimson knight vampire ram, pretty good as well in this deck. Then one Adrenus keeper horror armageddon, of course, the shadow vampire has that, that destruction that you can only exceed someone. Dark monsters with, this, with that card, so that is a pretty good option. Then some Synchros. Scarlight Red Acknowledgement, just in case, to get rid of all of your opponent's uh, spells one monsters. And then inflict damage as well. Then one Red Eyes Zombie Necro Dragon. Uh, another uh, card from that Zombie World Structure deck, so definitely pretty good as well. Then one black cross dragon just in case you go if you go second and you want to get, get rid of your, your opponent's whole field, definitely a pretty good option. Then one uh, FA Dawn Dragster, uh, just an extra disruption card. Um, so definitely really good card in this deck actually. And then the Link Monsters, double uh, Vampire Sucker, a very essential card in this deck. For several reasons, because of course the core vampire cards like Familiar and Trainer revive themselves with their effects and also uh, combos very well with uh, Tomb King uh, Baldrock. So essentially, you like link away your Baldrock on the field and then you, uh, in your standard phase, in the standard phase, you revive that Baldrock and then you can draw a card as well. So that's pretty amazing. Then one, a poor Alcor Dragon. The only Porel Link monster I, I can afford right now, at, but I will probably get uh, a Porel Hulk pretty soon, I think, at least. Especially because I think it's going to get 3 printed in the, in the dual power set anyway. Then one Summon Sorcerers, of course, you know how broken this card is, and this deck is no exception. You can just like summon any zombie from the deck, essentially, like Mesukis and stuff like that. Then Nightmare Phoenix, of course, you know how good Nightmares are. This destroys background, pretty good. One Nightmare Cerberus as well, again, pretty good. Get rid of some monsters, I guess. And finally, one Link Kuriba. Uh, pretty essential for this deck to get uh, like a uh, link with your Rampa Familiar or Clua Plume. So that was the deck. So, that was my update uh, Vampire Real Love deck profile. Uh, so it's, that this deck is actually pretty good. Obviously, I don't think it's anything very competitive uh, because it can be sometimes uh, inconsistent. But I definitely really like playing with this deck. Uh, and again, it's one of my signature decks. Right now, and will be. Um, I will keep around, uh, this deck around for a while. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, real life deck profile. For now, goodbye and Omakios. Out. Oh.